Hello to the amazing person who clicked on this video. In this video, I'm going to be showing how to use and how to make your Taco Shack in Taco Shack, the Discord bot. So as you can see, this is my shack right now. It's pretty good, Rainer's Restaurant. I'm not that far in it, but I'm going to go on my alt account to start from scratch and show you what the best things are to buy and just how to create your shack and what the commands are. So here we go. I am on my alt account, which is Lol Rainer, and to make a shack, you do found like this. And this means that your Taco Shack was created. You'll also get notifications and beginner's guide from Taco Shack after you do this, which can help you when you forget what I'm about to say. So then you can do shack to check out your shack, and you start with 100 income per hour and 1,000 balance. And now. With the money you have, you can go to buy upgrades to your income, which will give you more tacos per hour. So what you can do is you can do cooldowns, or you can do command C or exclamation point C for short. So these are your cooldowns. What you can do is you can do work, and that will work, and that will give you money. You can work every 10 minutes. Obviously, don't stay up in the night doing that because that's stupid. And you can do this to do tips. This will also give you money. You can collect tips every five minutes. You can do daily to collect your daily reward. This is very, very good. And you can do vote to vote. And how you vote is it will give you this thing. And every time you vote, it gives you money and a, coup and a coupon. But you have to actually vote to do it. So you click on the link, you do this, and it says, I already voted for this bot. Try again for this hours. Okay, so I voted on my normal account, which is why I can't vote right now. But normally you would do vote, you would end up voting, and then you would do claim. And to get your coupons, you would do coupon and then redeem just like that and you would get money from your coupons so that's how you would vote but obviously i can't vote right now so we'll go and check and we can see now i have six hundred and six thousand and six hundred and ninety seven dollars so to buy you can do four things to get for more money which you can use to buy income so you can do upgrades you can do ads you can do higher and you can do decorations so we have all these things right here um to do to buy something you do buy followed by the id of the thing you want to get so the billboards are pretty good so i'll do buy billboard if only i could spell but there we go and now i have a billboard and now my income is not going to be 100 anymore it's going to be 135. so basically you can go through these things and let's say i want to hire someone i can do hire and you know what i kind of want to hire a cook i want to hire an apprentice i want to hire a and some of these are really expensive like that costs five hundred thousand dollars but gives you a massive income boost i want to hire an executive if I have the money for it. Actually, that might not be a very good idea. I'm going to hire a, a sous chef. A greeter. I can get a lot of things here. So now my shack. What am I at? This is really annoying where I have that little thing there. Got it. Okay. There we are. So now I have 230 income. I can do uh, buy ornaments. Buy flowers. I'm trying to get to 500 income here because what happens when you get 500 income is you can start changing your menu, which gives you a variety, variety of benefits that can be really good. So buy lights and eventually, however, you are going to end up running out of money, but hopefully I can just get some stuff here. So buy lights, buy Ooh, you can buy advertisements for your thing, so I'll do buy um, radio, buy, and I think I'm out of money here, so I'll do buy flowers again. And what you want to do is you don't want to buy the same thing over and again, because what happens is the cost for your upgrades is going to rise exponentially, but the benefits of your upgrades are only going to rise linearly, which means it gets slower and slower as the game progresses. It's a very common thing between a bunch of different games. So you're going to want to space it out. So what I'm doing here is 
I'm buying a little bit of everything. So you want to get one of everything and then two of everything and then three of anything, everything. And this is going to be most efficient. So once you're done with all this, you can start editing your menu. But the problem with the menu is you need income to be able to add things to your menu, which gives you a bunch of stuff. And right now, as you can see, my income is only 300. You can also do shack stats to check stats of your thing. So I need 500 income, so I'm not going to be able to get that. But I'll show you how you would change it. Or I can show you on my normal thing. So what you're going to do here, and I'm not in this anymore, is I'm on, I'm on my main account now, is you can do menu to look at your menu. And I already have four things on my menu. And to change your menu, you do menu list. And what happens when you do menu list? Oh, and we can check my cooldowns right now. I can work. I can collect tips. Um, make sure you always do that. But anyway, uh, menu list. And on my menu list, I can get my... Um, let's do... Uh, oh, so so how do you, how you switch with your menus? You do menu edit. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to do menu edit. And then you select the slot in your menu. So as you can see in my menu right now, I have slot one, two, three, four. So if I wanted to change slot three, I would do menu edit three. And then I would do the number of the thing I want. So I would do menu edit three. And let's say I really don't want beef taquitos. Instead, what I, and I'm just dying for it, is I really want a chicken salad. So then I would do menu edit 314, and instead of this, I would have chicken salad. But what you're going to have is nothing. So if you have nothing in your third slot, you just do menu edit 314, and you get it. And this gives you income, and that's really good. So now my menu, I have some solid, solid chicken, chicken salad there. But yeah. Um, so the next thing you can do is work on level. So how level works is you go on the Taco Shack official server and to get level, you go on the Taco Shack. So what I can do is I can say, hi, and then I can do, how are you guys? Um, and basically, however much you type in this taco chat, you get XP. And then this guy said, I'm good. Thanks. Today, uh, as good as I can be for a uh, Monday and then eventually respect the voice chat so I can say thank you and basically what happens is when you type here you're eventually gonna get XP and this is really really important um, so I'm just gonna do little stuff here and I say I'm sorry I'm just trying to get XP <laughs> I'm pretty behind on the chat just trying to say random stuff and eventually i'm going to eventually start getting xp so as you can see here i'm going to do level and right now i have this much level and i need to get to 550 xp to get to the next level so what happens is <laughs> lol l m a o and eventually the more you type the more xp you're going to get so right now and it's really important to level up so right now oh i don't have an xp in my bed so right now my level is right here. I'm at 548. I just really much need to type. Okay. <laughs> so right there, look, I leveled up. So now you can go over here and you can do level up and this will level you up. But leveling up costs money. And when you level up, you do, it costs money, but you get more money and you get more income when you level up. But it costs a certain amount of money to do it and I just spent all my money. There's also the tip jar, which is kind of cool, and you can get money from that. And this thing, um, the register, you can get money from that as well, but it's a, it's a grind, it really is. So I can go back here as well. I can go on to play four, do tips. But anyway, I hope you learned something from this video. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day, and I'll see you next time. Peace.